What's good boys? Today I'm gonna show you how y'all can make portal presets and not only make portal presets, but I'm gonna show you how to export the presets, how to make cover art, and how to fully understand portal as a producer. So just get right into it. All right, real fast, I'm just gonna use FO keys as the starter sound. And I'm just gonna use a G minor triad or a C minor triad, sorry. So the moment you start a portal, it's gonna look a little bit like this. And so essentially what you're looking at right now is the little visualizer that portal has. Now what these knobs essentially do is just control the parameters. You can add these into any macro you want. They don't essentially do anything unless you add a macro to them. I could be wrong, let me know in the comments. Next up, you have this dry and wet knob. Now this dry and wet knob is different than this dry and wet knob. Next up, you have this reverse button, which all this does is just reverses the sample, of course, the grains. And in here you have the input and the output. Now another thing you could do with the dry and wet knob, if you want it only at 50% for each preset that you use, you can just right click on it and put log parameter value so that each preset that you skip over is gonna be at the same position. Now, of course, next up right here, you have the preset browser, which you can browse presets, of course. If you guys wanna download my free Sinister Multi Kit, you guys can, it has a free portal bank. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you guys can have a logo like this or like the Cillabon or Dark Moon or any, or whatever cover art you wanna have. There's also arrows here so you can just scroll between presets. Now let's actually click the little advanced tab here and it's actually break everything down. So the main component of this VST, or excuse me, plugin is the grain delay function. This is what adds the grains and you know adds all that good jazz and uniqueness but we're gonna worry about that last first we need to understand all these other parameters as well so we're starting off with stretch right here of course you can turn this off what this essentially does is it controls the degree of time stretching applied to the grains this is different than the grain speed so essentially what it does is it controls the stretchness of the grain so it, it's a little confusing but you have a grain the grain in which you use from the grain delay you can choose how stretched you want that specific grain. Now this retrigger knob controls the frequency at which the grains are retriggered. So essentially how often new grains are generated. The lower it is, the grains are triggered less frequently compared to when you have in my higher trigger, they're triggered more often. Now, of course, I don't have the grain delay on, so you can't see that. Now, essentially, what the offset button does is it adjusts the starting point of the audio sample in which the samples are generated from. So. So essentially you can move the section in which you wanted to start if you wanted to start sooner or later i'm gonna have this starting at 250 milliseconds as you hear that the little delay right there or unless you want it fast there's no delay so it's immediate now this right here links up with this with the density so it's going to be in ratio to whatever whatever you have it on so it's going to be in ratio to what this is So you can get real creative when you're making stuff. Now, of course, you have the sync button. So you don't have to follow by notes. You know, you can go by milliseconds. Next up, you have the size. What the size does essentially is it sets the size of the individual grain. Shorter grains produce more glitchy effects, whereas for longer grains produce more smoother, more angelic grains, you know. So a shorter, it's like... Hey, hey, or if you want it higher. Now, of course, this is where you mess with the, with this, with the trigger, with the offset. Hey, hey. Now, what these di little diamonds mean are just little randomizer buttons. It randomizes between, you know, 0 to 100%. So, if, you, it's, a, if it's at 100%, it's going to randomize. Now what the shape does, it controls the attack and release of the grains. So if you want like a higher attack or a longer release, you, you would adjust this shape. That's, so that's like a more like a tight attack, unless you want a longer one. Hey, hey, hey. Now moving on to the scale. I'm moving on to the scale that is designed to set the grains to a specific musical scale. So here you have chromatic, you have fifths where it's only playing fifths of a key, or you have octaves, which is like the most common. You have penta major, penta minor, major chord, minor scale, minor chords, you know, all these good crazy stuff, a whole tone as well. Um, you can just experiment with these, except what these do is it, it does the same thing what illusion does. It, it shifts them up. So you have a C minor plane. It's going to work with this because it's a, a fifth would work, right? 
now you don't have nothing playing right now the reason why it's not playing is because there's nothing connected to it which is where these little lines are coming up now these right here are lfos where you can control exactly how you want it to sound with with these knobs now with this scale right here what you want to do is essentially just you know you can draw in whatever scale you want right up down you know you can really do whatever you want now this right here is the retrigger knob of course if you want it to go one bar or every half triplet note or whatever of course it's gonna go as fast as it can right it's gonna have it one bar right here and humanize essentially is, is it creates that little velocity effect where it makes it more it just humanize it right so it's gonna be a new parameter each time as you can see the little white lines so it's gonna be generating a new parameter each time so it's not like a constant um you know lfo so once you have this you want to drag it to pitch and you want to go either one octave up so let's say you want to go just you just want to play one octave up it's going to play one octave up playing a fifth now as you can see if you're following the white line the higher it goes the closer it is to 100 so this right here is at 100 of course if you just have these knobs up here this is going to be going up the whole time as you can see with the little animation But, I, but yeah that's essentially it um you can keep the exact same parameters you can also control if you want it down five octaves or if you want it up five octaves um and then if you don't want it you can just right click and put remove of course you have here the pitch which is self-explanatory you want to go up or down now if you have it like this it's not going to automate or it's just going to go down one semitone from right here but if you want it to automate then you want to click this little plus drag it on there and then from here you want to click on the, the either mod 2 or mod 1 whichever you have it i have it on mod 1 click the little circle and then you want to go to the down lock now next up you have this pan self-explanatory as well it either pans all the way to the right or to the left now what i usually do is just randomize it just a little bit so it just either goes left and right at the same time now lastly of this grain control section we have the count this just controls the number of grains generated and played back simultaneously the lower it is the fewer grains are generated the higher it is it's more grainy resulting more of like a texture effect pad like You can tell with the little stutters because that is the, the thing working but it just doesn't have the grain delay as soon as i turn on the grain delay you're going to hear all that and go into effect now the dry and wet knob like i said are completely different from this dry and wet knob um i usually like to automate this it's like up and down up and down or whatever and you can just automate it with this and it's going to go up and down now the main knob which is the grain delay of course it adjusts the delay time between the grains more precisely now of course here you have the little you know knobs that you can control from here now if there's a specific knob that you like messing around with this is where the macros come in so for example if you want to add the little plus sign from macro one put it to time now what this controls is the little time so let's say they like controlling this and you can essentially add like i don't know texture or whatever so that they can just add a little bit more and with this one this is where you add the effects that they have bit reducer chorus distort filter phaser reverb and delay you can put some reverb on and, and it's always turned off the effects so make sure you click the little button the power button and then you can add the little macro here extend it to 100 and so you could put here like room or something and they can extend it all the way to 100 now like i said this little button reverses the grain sample so this is how it sounds like we could also do is increase this pitch changes to octaves Essentially what the dry and wet knob is, the, is the whole entire effect that is playing. And from here I can, I can put the effect on my piano to zero or to a hundred. I can also put some chorus on. And 
And here in the master, you can put some high. You can put a high pass or a low pass. And don't be afraid to just experiment and have fun with this, boys. Like, you can literally put a mod on the size, a mod on the offset, a mod on the feedback. And it's all going to be playing the exact same LFO. And you can control what exactly it's going to be doing. Just say this is the preset you want to save. So all you got to do is just click this little button right here, this little CD disc player. And then right here it says save a preset. Now, now it's always going to save in the user, I believe. I believe it's going to save only in the user preset. If you don't see what you see on my screen right now, wherever your, your portal location is, mine on program data, output portal, presets. All you got to do is just look up portal right here on the search. Make sure you're on this PC when you're searching. So it searches your entire PC. Make sure it's on output portal and if it's on presets right here you can make a user because i believe i made a user or if it was already created but then you go to presets and then you go to crayon which is right here and then from here you name it from the file name so i like to put exclamation point on it, it just looks nice and you can name it i don't know you can name it spacey like it's just an example right and of course you can put your at or you can just put the name whatever it is and you click save i think usually it always saves to user so it's always going to save on user okay we just found that out it's always going to save on on user and from here you can just drag it into the into the folder if it makes it a little bit easier for you guys you can also name it what folder it's going to be in in case you guys are going to have a lot of presets already let's say you have a whole bunch of presets in here right i'm going to use my user folder as an example now you're going to save the image in the same folder that's in your presets so i'm going to save it in my user preset just for an example okay but if it's if it's any name right whatever regardless of whatever your name is let's say it's Cilibon, Dark Mar, Sinister it's always going to be the same name it's always going to end in pack underscore image dot png it can't say your at it can't say your name your whatever it has to say pack underscore image dot png and it has to be a png folder and make sure the dimensions make sure the dimensions is 790 by 172 so 790 by 172 you want to go create it should look like this now i don't really have a good example but i could put this right here as an example like this looks sick all right now you could put customized art on here just whatever it is you could just put a piece of your art and whatever it is i'm just gonna put mine like this just an example and you want to put save make sure it's a png file right here for me it's a png right here save as just save it where you want to save it right but remember to, to call it pack image dot png and then you just drag it to it the next time you open up portal oh no no it actually just refreshes it's right here oof it's fire now now you could have it with no text so it looks much cleaner like how this looks it looks much cleaner with no text or you could do what he did have your little logo on the side that's hard too however you want to do it um he put a black font on his art so it looks like it's like popping out more which is you know more creative it's just like and this is from this is from shadow this is from logan I don't know what to say his last name, I'm sorry. Um, and these are from Loop Legend. Don't say I didn't put y'all on. And this is from me, of course, my boy Sway. But I mean, that's essentially it. I mean, I could show y'all how I make presets real quick and what my thought process is. So actually, I'm gonna use one of my new kits that I'm working on. Now, usually I always add the time pretty low because I usually like starting it immediately. And I always like putting an octave up and you cannot move this knob without moving this to octaves so you can go one up because if you have it on free tuning or whatever it's going to go to it's going to be a set appropriate to whatever melodic scale you have so I'm going to go to octaves and I'm going to just choose a random LFO you can also save custom LFOs that you think are cool or hard or whatever pause um, you just click this little button and you have this modulation these modulation presets in which you guys can actually you guys can actually make your own presets but like i said the human eyes adds a new lfo each time so it's not like consistent all the time it's like more you know abstract and then of course this is the modulation rate so i'm just going to drag this up one octave <laughs> I'm gonna put a piano real quick so I can actually hear what it sounds like. 
You can also put multiple on them. So there's actually controls. Then you can also do the same thing with melody loops, of course. Now this is this is more of like a slow melody, so let me try something different. We'll go to my melody run. Let me actually go to stretch post so you guys can actually hear that. This is without it. This is with it. Then we'll go to 100 actually. This reminds me of a uh, illusion cymatics plugin. I'm actually gonna save this. Hope I spelled that right. And just save it. And it's right here. It just goes literally to the preset you just made. Well, that's essentially it, my boys. Hopefully, you guys learned something new. I try to explain to the best of my ability. If I were you, I would rewatch this video a couple times so you guys can actually understand it fully well, as well as just experimenting what every knob does by itself. Like, just try putting it up to 100, automate it just with one knob just to see what that does exactly. And so, it's better for you guys to just try it out and see what it does for you. But yeah, I mean, it, it does look complicated the first time, the second time, the third time. But then, once you get used to it and then you know what everything does, it's going to start getting much easier. Um, Like I said, with the pack, make sure you save it in the same presets folder of the of the porter bank that you're making and make sure you label it as pack underscore image and make sure you save it as a png with the dimensions 1790 by 172 it has to be it has to be specific man i'm sorry but the cover art it can be whatever it just has to be those exact dimensions and then the name has to be exact but that's it if you wanted to have a cool cover art i might make a part two video on the on porter bank presets maybe diving in a little bit further into it but like i said rewatch the video but yeah essentially it make sure you guys follow me on ig ig on Swift sway flow if you guys have any questions make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments make sure you guys hit me up on discord if you guys want me to reply to you fast hit me up on my discord and yeah essentially it see you boys in the next one deuce Thank you.